welcome back to my channel. So I just got back from the gym. I did an arm workout courtesy of Whitney Simmons and hot fire flames, that girl is good. Um, I made myself a little protein smoothie or a protein shake, which I try to do a couple times a week after a workout. This one is pumpkin pie flavored, so it's perfect for this time of year, this fall time of year. Um, it's a little extra, but it's really good, so I thought I'd go ahead and share the recipe with you. If that's something that you guys are interested, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button for me and hit subscribe. All six of my subscribers, mom, I'm talking to you, thank you very much, and let's go ahead and get into the video. For this smoothie, you need three quarters cup of almond milk, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, half of a frozen banana, and then half a cup of pumpkin puree, but the kind that's just pumpkin puree, not anything else added. And then one scoop of peanut butter protein powder. I use the Ghost brand. And something to note here is that you could use some almond butter or some peanut butter, like a tablespoon or two, instead of protein powder if you didn't have any in the kitchen. Now to make it, really you just add everything to your blender and hit blend, but it does seem to blend up a little bit more smoothly if you put the heavier ingredients on the bottom. So I went ahead and put the pumpkin puree and then the banana towards the bottom, then covered it with the um, spice and with the protein powder and then lastly poured the milk on. Well, there you go. The world's best fall pumpkin pie protein smoothie. Um, I used to think that protein powders were not really for me because I wasn't a real athlete, I wasn't a bodybuilder, I wasn't trying to bulk up, in fact, I was trying to slim down. But when I began my weight loss journey after fat base, I took a sip of my guy's protein smoothie and I was kind of hooked. I knew I wasn't getting enough protein from food and so using a powder, just using that as a resource, really helped to increase my protein intake while maintaining my carbon, carbohydrate intake. So basically, this smoothie has about 260 calories and about 28 grams of protein. So for me, somebody who's vegetarian, that is a huge amount of protein to get in that small amount of calories. And it's got about the same amount of carbs, about 30 grams of carbohydrates. So, all right, well I hope you girls enjoyed the video. I hope you make the smoothie. If you do, let me know in the comments below how it was for you or what things you changed, it, changed in it or added or, you know, that kind of thing. And otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.